Hello handheld gamers and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be looking at Vampire Survivors on the Steam Deck. Now, historically I've been playing this on the 1X player and not the Steam Deck because I couldn't get it running really very well. I've now uh, resolved the issue that I had where it wasn't pulling down my game saves properly. That was an easy one actually. If you um, go into the game settings, I'll show that later, uh, I was using the beta version, so that's why it wasn't synchronising my game save. So, however, the other issue I was having was I just couldn't get this game to run at 60 FPS. It runs pretty close to 60 FPS for most of the game, but when you get to about 22 minutes, it chugs down to about 14, 15 FPS and it's just unplayable like that. And it's not even just a, a momentary dip to 15 FPS, it just chugs at that speed for quite some time. So the way around this, it's quite an easy one really, if you pull up your performance menu at the side here, um, I have tweaked the thermal power limit on it, although even when it was unlimited, it was slowing down to 15 FPS. So I use FSR, I also do half rate shade, and now these things are just to save a bit of power really, but the FSR is the important bit. So if I quit the game just now, and then go along to the cog at the end, go down to properties, and in here you've got the game resolution. So it's set to 800, uh, 1280 by 800 by default. However, we're setting to a lower resolution and we're going to use FSR to scale up. So I found 1024 by 768 is the absolute sweet spot. The game, in use, looks exactly as it does at 800p, thanks to the FSR. It doesn't get any of the blurriness that you sometimes get associated with FSR, it just runs perfectly. And it will run at a solid 60fps the whole time. Let's see if I can get this focus dialed in a bit. So I'll start a game here, and we'll just randomly pick someone. Um, I'm not sure where. Let's pick Poppy. And we'll just, any old level. We'll give her a random pick up. Which one will we pick? There you go, that one will do it just nicely. So, as I say, in all my videos. If you like what I do, please like, share and subscribe. So, as we can see here, it's running a locked 60 at the top right there. I'll, uh, I'll just uh, pull up the slightly enhanced performance overlay and you'll see we're running just pulling 7.6 watt total, 7.8. So we're looking at, well, that's slowly counting up the, the amount of time we want. 56% battery life at the moment, and it's about two and a half, two, two and three quarter hours it's looking at there, so that's looking pretty decent. 60 FPS locked. So what I'll do, is I'll just sit here happily playing, but we'll cut to a later point in the video, just to show the 60 FPS carries on. Here we are, about 19 minutes in. The game's starting to get a little bit more busy. We're pulling well. It's, it's dropping down to 57 FPS, but you know, I can forgive that. 53 there. Now, at this point, is roughly when you start seeing it dropping down at the mid-20s. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this. It looks, it's just as good looking as it always is, but a lot more playable. And it's very light on the battery. Although I say very late in the battery, it's now estimating just under two hours. So that's like nearly an hour's worth of battery that's disappeared in um, 20 minutes. However, the battery draw has gone up to about 10 watts now. Now see, it's getting very busy now. And we have lost... Quite a lot of FPS, we're down to 30 FPS now. 34 there's there, but it's not it's not 12 FPS. So actually dropping from 60 to 30 in a game like this, still pretty playable. You could probably lock this game at 30 and be quite happy with the performance. So 
But when it drops to 12, it becomes almost unplayable. But, there you go, we dipped down to 21 there, but it, it doesn't feel like it's chugging, which is the main thing. This is it pretty busy right now. 21 minutes we are at. when you get a five star. So it's after this point, on this map certainly, you start getting the purple flower things that the game would really start chugging, which I believe is in about a, about a minute's time. So sped up a little bit again. We're up to 40 FPS now, so as you can see, I'm still moving around pretty smoothly. It's not chugging like it would normally do. I'll show a little bit of B-roll now. Just to see what it looks like when it's chugging along at 800 p Okay, so here we go, these will be purple plant guys coming along now, so once we've wiped these guys out, we'll get inundated with purple plants, and that's when we normally see the, the FPS really tank. So we're still seeing 40 FPS, pretty reasonable. Oh, it dipped down to 35 there. Now this is the, the point normally when you you get the bullet time, you know the the pop-in sound and you can actually hear it when it slows down to 12 fps even if you've not got the game scope runner you can hear it this is still running pretty well 36 34 fps pretty happy with that especially with how busy it is on screen Trying to collect some of these, we're getting near the, the end game. This is what I want. I want to get the one where we uh, get the circle.
So now we're really testing the game. And we're dropping down to, what's that, 26 FPS? Well, you know what? It's not 12, and it's still running pretty well. Doing some pretty lethal damage here. It's great. So I want to get the Laurel evolved. Might have a chance against uh, the Reaper. Yeah, it's chugging a little bit, but down to 20 there. It certainly feels smoother than it did at 12 to 15 FPS. And in the last few seconds here, I think I've left it too late to evolve the Laurel. Oh, I have. Oh no, got the axe, but I have to drop these guys ASAP so I can concentrate. Excellent. Oh no. Ah, he's going to get me, yep. Got quite a few revives. Let's just play this through to through to the bitter end. To drop these guys. Oh, that's one down. The rest will not be far behind. Oh, it's two down, three down. Oh, got them all down. Can I drop the Reapers? Oh, no. Try again. I really wanted to evolve that. Um, Aye. Yeah, it's not going to happen. We'll torch them a bit for a while though. Oh, looks like they've tortured me. Well, as you can see, this has been so much more playable. Just changing those couple of little settings. Game still looks brilliant. I might continue to play it on the 1X player, but at least now, I may play it a bit more often on the Steam Deck. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.